everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be sharing this really fun uh, glimmer hot foil system from Spellbinders. They sent this system to me with some plates, I guess they're called plates or die cuts, which is really neat. I've never tried anything like this and I'm so excited to share it with you and try it out with you guys. Now I watched a bunch of tutorials online, especially on Spellbinders YouTube channel, to kind of see how this works and I'm loving the results that this foil machine gives you. So I'm really, really excited to try them out. Now, we're gonna open this box together. We're gonna try this out together. I really, this is my first time. I've never tried it before. So let's learn uh, the system together. Anyways, you get to purchase like these plates and there's so many different types of plates. I'm gonna call these plates, but this call, these are actually called foil transfer letterpress. That's what they're called. So that's what we're gonna be using with the system. And I got a bunch, maybe try out some of these today. Really cute ones. You also can purchase the foils separately, but I do know that uh, you get two foils, uh, foil rolls in your box or your machine or with your machine that's what I'm trying to say so let's try this out um, let's open our box first I did not even open this you guys I thought I would do it with you let's let me take these out okay so we get a manual nice how to use this but like I said I watched a lot of a lot of tutorials online so those are the two um, foil rolls you get you get like a rose gold and a silver and that's why I chose the black because you guys know I love black oh and you get like the that is so neat hold on hold on I'm gonna take these out of the packages and then we'll look through it and this little um, tweezer, it's not little, these big tweezers, these help you remove the plates. It has a little magnet right there. So it will help you grab the plates off the pad, which is nice to have. You got a bunch, well, these are really pretty. What does that say? Best wishes. Nice. Okay, we're going to keep that aside for now. Um... I have to remember how we use this. So you get these plates and this rubber mat, and I believe this is for you to set your hot plates on. So I'm gonna put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and switch this on. Okay, now that I got everything ready, I'm gonna switch on my system and all the lights come on and I'm actually gonna slide this in. So I'm gonna wait until the platform ready light turns on and then I can kind of build my little platform. And we are going to try this guy. I think it's really cute. It just, it's a light bulb that says your future is bright. And what we're waiting for is for this to turn green and it did and that's the platform ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my little die and as I said before you can use your tweezers to move it around get it in the right place I'm also going to be using some of my foil and I decide to use this really pretty um, rose gold Now I want to make sure that this doesn't get all over the place, so I'm just going to cut the edges. I saw this on one of the videos and thought it was a good idea, so I'm going to cut off those corners. Start by adding my foil and then the shiny side down. I'm going to try to cover my light bulb. I'm going to add my paper. I'm going to add my shim. And then I'm going to add my space pads. One, and then I'm gonna press the timer. And the timer keeps like blinking until it's ready. And once it's ready, I can remove this 
and put it through my die cut machine. Now that my platform is ready, I'm going to grab this guy and pull him out of the platform or the system. And I'm gonna take this to my die cut machine and put it through my die cut machine. And once you do that, the foiling is going to go transfer to your paper and you're gonna have that beautiful image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and come back to show you. Okay, so if you don't slide this back in, it won't heat up, so you're good to go if you just leave it on the platform. I'm gonna remove everything. I'm gonna grab my paper. You can see it transferred right there. And leave it here on my rubber mat to cool it off. So let's take this off and see the results. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Look, even the negative side is beautiful. What? I'm so using this. That is so pretty. I love this. Look at that rose gold foiling. I don't know if you can see that. I really, really, really like that. I found my new favorite thing. Okay, you guys, I hope I was able to share with you how easy it is to use the Glimmer Hot Foil Machine. It is so easy to use and I'm so excited about it. I really, really love the end results and I will actually be using this in a layout today and sharing it with you. But um, I will also add all the links for everything I used in this video and um, Spellbinders website, scrapbook.com's website, they all sell this beautiful Glimmer hot foil system and all these extras like these um, letterpress uh, foil transfers. These are really exciting. Oh, I used that one. And I did try these out a bunch of times. I actually have a, a lot of these negatives and I'm gonna check out some tutorials to see how I can use the negatives because I really don't wanna waste any of my foils. And um, I actually did it again with some black. I really like how that one turned out. I do wanna say I used them also to emboss. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually embossed just with no foil or anything like that and I embossed my paper and it turned out really, really neat. And it says, you got this. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually watercoloring this and see how that turns out because it's literally embossed, you guys. I love that. So anyways, um, I'm gonna add all the links down below and let's start working on my layout. Okay, you guys, let's start working my traveler's notebook. I'm going to be documenting this photo of my kids back in the, I believe in April or something like that. This is kind of my catch-all traveler's notebook. Whatever photos I didn't use, um, whatever photos I have, I printed and just sitting there on my desk, I end up using in this uh, traveler's notebook. This traveler's notebook just has like little pockets. Uh, they're very adorable. They're great to have, especially if you use a lot of four by eight photos. I just love slipping in my four by eights. You don't have to like stick them down and kind of ruin your photos, if that makes sense. So I really love these traveler's notebooks and I will add the links for everything I'm using in my video today down in the description box. Now I decided to use my light bulb that I created using my Glimmer hot foil machine or system and um, I'm gonna use it as a title for my spread. Now it ended up being way too big, so I didn't like how big it is. So I turned, I'm gonna end up like trimming it down a little bit and trimming down uh, the yellow pattern paper that I backed it up with. So I'm gonna trim those down a little bit just because I really wanted this beautiful floral pattern paper to kind of um, be strong in the background if that makes any sense. Um, so I thought first I would add that pink, but I really felt like it was taking away from my background, from that beautiful floral. So I end up ditching that whole idea and just add some doilies to back up my little light bulb. This is where I decide it 
kind of too big so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit and then re-add it to that yellow pattern paper I love the rose gold foiling against the yellow pattern paper and by the way you guys after I did this video I played hard <laughs> with this system and I'm in love I think I foiled almost every single tag in my craft room and I just tried it out over and over and actually you get much better at it uh, as time goes because I was able to kind of add like a rustic look to my tags and then kind of foil it it was just so much fun watching tutorials really really helps so I definitely recommend you check out Spellbinders YouTube channel if you are on the fence of purchasing the system but I definitely recommend it anyways I like how everything looks so I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my doilies my title my light bulb all that good stuff and now I'm just gonna start adding a little bit of embellishments I don't go overboard I end up using a lot of like word stickers um, some of my mustardy yellow stickers because I really wanted the yellow to pop. It just looked really good against the pink foil um, from my title, my light bulb. So I'm just going to go through my embellishments. I end up removing things, adding things. Um, this was kind of a spread where um, I didn't have any type of plan for and it just came together just by adding these little embellishments that finish up your spread. I found this hooray banner and I thought it looked pretty neat on the opposite side but I'm gonna end up ditching that banner because I will look through my word wood veneers and I found I believe memory and I just thought it looked really cute on the pathway of the picture so I end up removing that banner and just using that wood veneer on my photo I will also be using one of my wood veneer words on the opposite side just to bring in that wood grain to both sides of my spread. I actually found this tag that I felt like it looked really nice uh, as a layer to my light bulb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some twine to that. And I believe I'm gonna grab my embellishments and just end up adding a little chipboard heart to my layers and then I call my layout done. I'm so excited about this system, you guys. I definitely recommend it, as I said earlier. So I'm gonna add all the links for you guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, it's a first for me, so I just really wanted to do an unboxing and share with you how great this system is. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye. Thank you.